In this question, we've been given the probability distribution of a discrete random variable. First, we're asked to find the probability that x is in between 1 and 3, but we're not including 1 while still including 3. As usual, I want to rewrite this with the values that are included. So I'll write probability that x is in between 2 and 3, including 2 and including 3. Looking over at the table, the probabilities to include are the probability that x equals 2 and the probability that x equals 3. Both of them are a third, so I have one third plus a third equals two thirds. Next, we're asked to find the expectation of x. The expectation of x we find by doing the product sum of the x values and the associated probability. So I'm not going to bother with 0 times 1 twelfth, but I do have three products here, 1 times a quarter, 2 times a third, and 3 times a third. Okay, so just adding these together, we end up with 23 over 12. Okay, it's fine to leave this as an improper fraction. It's going to be used in a calculation later on. Part D is asked for the variance. Okay, we know that we always start the variance with the expectation of x squared. So a very similar calculation, but I have 1 squared times a quarter, 2 squared times a third, and 3 squared times a third. Okay, summing those together, we get 55 over 12. Some students think that this is the end of the question because there's a similar endpoint to the previous part, but we need to combine these two together with the variance formula. Variance formula says that the variance of any discrete random variable is going to be the expectation of x squared minus the expectation of x squared. So substituting these values in, we get 131 over 144. Okay, part E of the question here, we're going to be doing some coding on the expectation. So expectation coding. I'll start by writing out what's given to me and then I'll simplify it. This is the same as 2 times the expectation of x minus 3. So just substitute into that and we get 37 over 6. So remember, with the expectation, all of these linear operations need to be applied. The multiplication or division, the addition and subtraction. When it comes to the variance, however, we can ignore any adding and subtracting. So that will be the first thing that I do here. So the variance of 2x minus 3 is exactly the same as the variance of 2x. Now, if we bring the 2 out, we're going to need to square it. So 4 times the variance of x. That's what I'm looking for. This gives us an answer of 131 over 36.